mean, I couldn't be more proud, really. You know, it's, uh, it's really special to see somebody who's worked their whole life to achieve something, not just for himself, but for an industry and for a whole you know, culture of folks that just love this morning, sport, sir. that love being out on the water, that love the whole experience that fishing is, you know, the community that fishing is. And when I see my dad, I, what I see is somebody who's devoted his whole life to, to really a cause, you know, to a community. And he, uh, for a long time, has really thought about giving back and the sustainability of the industry. And it's really evolved in his thinking about what that means. And he's, he's just done amazing things to give back to folks. And it's really special, you know, to be out on the boat with him. People just really honor him in, 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 a, in a way that really feels feels special and it feels right. It's really bitching. Somebody asked him for a picture on the, the last night, and you just saw people lining up. It was like a queue of folks. And, you know, for somebody as, as humble as he is, it feels really special. You know, he had Bill Poole really helped him get situated, believed in him, got him started, and he has passed that along at every step of the way. You know, you look at the industry, there are so many people that grew up on this boat, that came out of this boat, you know, real legends that have started their own businesses and have gone on and flourished. And I think nothing makes him happier than to see that, than to help people get started, to, to find a young man with talent and put him in a position where he can succeed. And, you know, I, I say young man, but, you know, he's also done a lot for women in the industry. You see, you see him really opening it up. And it's just another one of his contributions. He's always, I think, learning about how to sort of open his mind and in doing so has really opened up a lot of fronts uh, you know, for the industry, a lot of new ways of thinking. And he's chosen to do something in his life that has just kept him absolutely alive in every sense of that word. And I, I, we all, we can all learn from that. One of the coolest things that he ever said to me is actually on the boat in the bridge, I can remember. You know, we were talking about, he asked me how you define success. And you know, I don't remember what I said. He said, well, the way you should define it is what makes you happy. He's never said you should do this or that with your life. He's never pushed me in one direction or the other, but he's always cared a lot about whether I was happy. And as I've grown up and him seeing me happy is, you know, a, a real sense that he has that, that he's passed that along to me as well. You know, I don't run a boat. I'm not in the industry, but, um, uh, you know, that, that's a, it says a lot about him as a person that he didn't try ever try to push me into that. You know, he, he uh, I think he knew that the, the best way to, to raise up a kid was to say, you know, do, do what is naturally uh, in, in your heart. And, and, and that's what I did. And it's great to still be a part of this. I, I, I'm passionate about the industry and, and about the boats, about his legacy, about the, the, the many amazing people and, you know, from every walk of life that, that are down here. He's hard and, and he, he runs a tight ship. Um, but he's, he, you know, he comes at it with a whole lot of love. You see that coming out of him in more explicit ways lately. And it's, uh, you know, I think it's somebody reflecting on a life well lived. It's great, man. It, it's, it's just a, it's a real honor to be a son.